Hey, what's up everybody? So about two months ago I made this video where I made a list of 10 YouTube channels that I recommend that have under a million subscribers, and now I'm going to recommend 10 more that have over a million subscribers. So first up is Marquez Brownie, also known as MKBHD. This is a tech reviewer YouTuber, and he's just great because he's like super honest and he actually knows his tech stuff and he has like great camera work and um you know there's a lot of other tech youtubers with over a million subscribers who like some of them can't even pronounce words right and they actually like regularly get facts wrong and they just don't focus on like stuff that actually we care about but you know marquez is just great and um you know a great presenter he actually knows his stuff so yeah check him out and he's like he never uses clickbait on his videos and sometimes he recommends stuff, sometimes he says it's weird, like this pixel book. He just gives his honest opinion and he actually points out, you know, things that the tech companies should fix in their products. So yeah, check him out. Next up is Philip DeFranco. He does like news videos, like talking about current events and talking about um, other YouTubers. And um, he's just like, I used to actually, several years ago, I really did not like him because he always had you know, clickbaity thumb thumbnails and, um, you know, kind of over-exaggerated stuff and did kind of cruel jokes in his uh, older videos, but he's really matured over the years and, um, you know, he's really trustworthy, I, I would put it. Like, he, um, he's very unbiased, like, he gives both sides of the story and, um, he gets really, gets to the point and he's just really good. Next up is Video Game Donkey. I don't watch very many, like, video gamers on YouTube. I'm not really a big video gamer myself, but Video Game Donkey, I watch his videos because he's just legitimately funny. Uh, he has a great personality, like, <clears throat> if you just hear his voice, it's super iconic, and, like, he's just, I don't know, I, I literally LOL while watching his videos. Just, um, he's just funny. Next up is Roman Atwood, Vlogs. He also has a non-vlog channel where he just does pranks, but I'm actually specifically recommending his vlog channel. So, the first couple years, like, I think the first two years he did his vlog channel, I think I watched literally every single one. Um, I've kind of been cutting back because I just haven't had time to watch his videos lately, all, at least all of them. He's just a, a daily vlogger. Sometimes he misses days, but does, like, 99% of days. He, he kind of treats you like you're part of his family, and he just always has a positive message, positive attitude, and it's just cool seeing the success that his business has been having, and, like, seeing his family sort of accumulate wealth. It's kind of, like, just a fantasy. You know, I, I kind of watch it and just imagine myself being part of his family, and, like, because I, I don't have a family of my own, I don't have any kids, so it's kind of just fulfilling that desire to have it, but without the headaches that also come with having a family. It's just kind of like the fantasy of, like, being rich. He always does these crazy things around his yard and, you know, wastes money on, like, explosions and all kinds of stupid stuff. And um, it's kind of just like, you know, like the fantasy for 15 minutes and then you get back to your own life. Next up is Casey Neistat. He's also a... Well, he used to be a daily vlogger. Now he just does it, I guess, a couple times a week. I actually don't really like Casey as a person sometimes. He, he kind of, like... He's, he's very not humble, <laughs> so sometimes he's not that like, great as a person. It might seem weird to say since I'm recommending him, but I'm recommending his videos. He actually sort of, in a way, encouraged me to start talking in my drinking videos, and I, I sort of tried to start doing daily vlogs, but then I realized how insanely impossible it is and how you have to actually have an exciting life to do the daily vlogs and keep them interesting. Because he's, he's just always, like, he goes around the world several times a month, pretty much. And he's just always doing cool stuff. Somehow he, he's, he has this personality where he's able to make everyday activities seem really exciting. And he's cool to watch. And, like, what I was saying about not liking his personality is, like, you know, one time he did this video about trolls, and he treated them like they're, like, pieces of crap. He didn't treat them like they're, um, you know, actually humans. And, like, he didn't understand, you know, the reasons people would do bad stuff. He, he acts like people were just born bad. And, you know, some sometimes he's a little bit too political sometimes, but he's good. Next up is 
Boogie2988. I guess I recommend him because I relate to him a lot, and a lot of the stories he tells, and um, it's cool. Like, he just got this uh, gastric bypass surgery, and he's been losing a bunch of weight. It's cool watching that. I've been subscribed to Boogie since, like, he had under under 100,000 subscribers. It's cool. He, he's kind of, like, growing and maturing over time. It's nice to watch that. He does a lot of gaming videos, which I don't really care for them that much, but if you're into that, they're, they're good, I guess. I mainly just watch his, like, you know, vlogs talking about current events in his life, and, um, you know, I just kind of relate to his past a little bit in some ways. He's a good, you know, he's honest, and um, check him out. Next up is Cinemassacre. Uh, this guy does, he's the angry video game nerd guy. He's been on YouTube since, you know, pretty much the beginning. Um, he's actually been making, like, short films since before YouTube even existed. Sometimes um, he'll cut to, like, videos he made when he was a child, like on VHS. And um, you can tell that he was pretty much born to be a filmmaker. And there's so much just creativity in some of his videos. I should mention, some of them are with this guy, Mike. They're not the ones I would recommend. I would recommend the ones with just James, pretty much. Sometimes it's just Mike playing video games, and it's kind of boring. But all the videos with James are um, really good, and I recommend them. And, like, you can tell that he puts, you know, just tons of time into editing his videos. And they're all really good. And, like, he, you, you can see that he doesn't just do computer effects. He, like, actually makes models for his videos. Writes, you know, scripts that would take a long time to write. Just has fun with it. And he's a, uh, you know, good guy. The next three channels that I would recommend, the final three, are all, like, edutainment, I guess you could call it. Because they're all educational channels, but they're all also really entertaining to watch. First up is CGP Grey. Next up is Tom Scott. And the last channel I'd recommend is Vsauce. Which I think most of my subscribers are also fans of Vsauce already. So all three of these. They're able to teach you a lesson in a way that, you know, entertains you. But it's also like super short. They're all three of these. They're super short and just to the point. Like some of some of the lessons that Vsauce teaches are are things I've actually heard in school before. But sometimes it's like a lesson that the teacher would spend six hours trying to explain. And then Vsauce just does it in like 15 minutes. And he does it better and you actually understand it better because of the the good visuals. Well here's a video I was in too. <laughs> I, I was in actually in three of his videos. CGP Gray, he just uses stick figures, but it like doesn't really matter because his videos are so well scripted and just so entertaining. I just check him out. I, I can't explain it. And then, like the cool thing about CGP Gray and Vsauce and Tom Scott, almost all of them are topics that I actually did not know about. Here's just an example. What counts as a mountain? This is not a video I've even seen yet. But this is something I've never thought about. I've never really considered. But what does count as a mountain? <laughs> or just like any of these topics, you know. You actually learn something by watching them and they're just interesting. So there you go. There's a couple other, you know, good YouTubers I had to cut out of the list to cut it down to 10. What do you guys recommend? What YouTubers do you recommend with over or under a million subscribers? Uh, let's finish up with some water. Now here's a, here's a random question. I noticed my list is all men. Am I sexist for only having, like, men on my list? Or is that just because I relate to them? Like... You know, if Boogie was female, I probably wouldn't put her on the list because I just wouldn't relate to her stories and, like, her life experiences and stuff. Is that why? Or, <laughs> I don't know. Do men just make better videos? Or are there just less women YouTubers? Or is not is that or is it just a coincidence? I don't know. It's something I just noticed. I thought I'd ask you guys what you thought about that. Anyway... Thanks for watching.